So one day I was just joining some random Minehut servers and I ended up joining this like war simulation server. And I assumed it was basically just going to be normal. But little did I know just how wrong I was. So this all started when I was just messing around with some of the crossbows, and when I got killed by another player, I accidentally immediately respawned outside of the map. We did it! We escaped! I don't, I don't know how that happened. Let's play survival Minecraft, I guess. So my new goal was simple. I was going to beat the game on this server that was clearly not designed for it, but this was going to be way harder than I thought. But things started off good when I found 18 iron in a shipwreck, and then I was able to make a bed so that my respawn point was set outside of the map. And also this guy joined that just kept saying a list of random words in chat. How did he wither away? <laughs> what is happening on this server? Anyway, let's stop messing around and get to work. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a quick brewing portal over here. The room portal actually turned out to be completable, so I just finished that and entered the nether. And then I used the gold from the ruined portal to trade with the pickle. Give me pearls. Give me. Should I give them to me right now, actually? Oh. Wait, it worked. Okay, so now you should give me more of those? I think it must be that Azari owns the server. And either has not realized that I am beating the game, or doesn't care. Uh, as soon as I said that. No, he's shooting me. Bro! He can't know where I am. I can't let him figure out where my spawn is. <laughs> he said it's not a survival server. Bro. Teleported to me again. <laughs> Bro, he's probably so annoyed. Oh, I hit him in the lava. No. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Despite my obvious victory, I was never actually able to find my stuff, and it wasn't long before the admin teleported back to me. No. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You <laughs> just gave me all the potion effects. Got snowballs. Run. Do 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 do. Do <laughs> do do do. do. <laughs> no. He might have found my bed. If he finds my bed, it's over. He found my bed. <laughs> it's just constantly slash killing me. <laughs> Admin abuse. <laughs> So after that, he randomly decided to leave me alone for a total of two minutes. No! I got kicked. Is he gonna ban me? He's not banning me? Okay. <laughs> no! He's in playing survival. <laughs> So at this point, the situation was looking pretty dire, alright? I had been completely banned from the server, but I knew that I couldn't just give up. You see, the main way to avoid a server ban is to use an alt account, and I don't have one of those. Was I seriously about to spend $29.99 on a game that I already owned just so I could beat Minecraft on a random server? Of course not, who do you think I am, an idiot? <laughs> So for whatever reason, my friends weren't too keen on just giving me their Minecraft accounts. I mean, I don't- I have no idea why that could be, honestly. It's like I'm, I'm a completely trustworthy guy, I promise. Over the next couple of days, I tried several methods to get an alt account, including the sketchy-ish website that would generate free alts. Unfortunately, it didn't work on 1.20.4, which was the version the server was on. 
Oh, it's taking longer. Alright, I believe I can buy PC Game Pass for $1, and then I can get a, a free Minecraft account. Well, not free. So I can't exactly show you what happened because it showed my personal information way too much. But basically, I made a new Minecraft account, bought Xbox Game Pass for $1, and then I was back on the server. So we can play. I think it's working. Let's go. We made it. We're on the server. There's no shot. We're back in business, baby. <laughs> now that I had successfully snuck back onto the SMP, the only thing left to do was beat the game. What's that? Is that a montage I'm hearing? No way! It's still here. No way. So as you saw, that was me dying with all of my items in a bastion and burning them in lava. This was basically the worst possible scenario because it reset any progress I had. Though to be fair, my luck on pearls had been terrible so far so I maybe had like two fire resistance potions and that's about it. Either way, now that I had spent a whole $1.10 on this video, I knew that I needed to keep going. So even after the most devastating loss, I got back on my feet and tried again. I want to be completely honest, this was way easier the second time. I found this ravine here and mined some iron, and then I found this really big cave, and I was able to get some gold, iron, and diamonds. Diamonds! Okay. Yeah. I find diamonds before, but not now. I'm so much lower. Oh, where's my... <laughs> so I ended up entering the nether with about a stack of gold, which was honestly pretty insane and way better than what I had before. My pearl trades weren't even that bad, so I got all my stuff and then I found a fortress fairly quickly. Let's go! <laughs> Since I had fire resistance from piglins, that was pretty easy, so I just killed a couple of blazes. Okay, nine. Then got a little bit more obsidian to leave the nether. We're out of the nether in like two hours or something. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I need to take a break from this. <laughs> All right, we are back. Let's go. Servers offline. Just what we needed. Uh. All right, my subscription expires in five days, so I need to get this done. I think I can do it in one day, as long as my login works properly. All right. All right, let's throw another eye. Still the same way. So it actually took me a really long time to find the stronghold because I ended up like strip mining basically to try and find it. It definitely wasn't the most efficient way, but hey, I found it eventually. <gasps> Let's go, finally. Oh, we found it. Let's frickin' go, dude. Alright, so as much as I think it would be hilarious to put the eyes and will and admins on... Uh, I would actually like to not do that because I'm pretty sure I would get banned if an admin figured out that I was here. And here we wait. 
yeah, no, that's going to be the whole plan. That's that's going to be all we're doing for a while. So I did actually wait for like a couple of weeks on and off, you know, and the guy never logged on. So I managed to find his Spigot MC profile. I sent him a message to log on, but he still never logged on. So I just ended up logging on the server and beating the game myself. Why are all of the crystals gone already? It's actually so weird. Come on, bro. It's like two hits away. I did it. And as I stepped into the end portal with nobody else online, I had to wonder whether my victory even counted. But more importantly, was I ever in the right? Oh, well, I didn't break any of the rules at least.